I say? I'm Martin, shred some guitar, shred some keys. I'm Paul and I play drums. We're always pleased to have a drummer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Oh, yeah. good. Well, the most entertaining. Yeah. Well. <laughs> always the quiet ones. Yeah. The drummers. Not this one, though. He's mental. He's got his own rap career. Remember. Well, he's yeah. catching up a good day. <laughs> he's something else, yeah. yeah. There's, you know, there's a lot of bands that are very stuck within a different within a genre and they stay down that route the whole their whole careers. We don't want to sort of span different genres and not be confined to a certain scene or trend or anything like that. So yeah. That's that's the intention. What that. I wasn't expecting was the amazing melodies that came in about track three. Oh right, okay. Snakes. Snakes. No, we did that so I don't think it was second, I think I noticed it on the third track. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't remember because we it literally. It might have been the JC. Was it like, have like a jazz bit at the beginning? Oh, yeah, saxophone. It's really and... mm. yeah. yeah, I think it must, it must have been. Yeah, it must, must have been the third song, yeah. JC Who was yeah. on that album. Yeah. Um, and then they were at the, it's like the wacky elements were really clear in the set as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, I wasn't yeah it's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's good. So you think it's bonkers. bonkers, that's a bit like wacky. Is yeah. it bonkers like wacky or not? Well, they're in the same ballpark. Oh, aren't they? Yeah. So, same squash ball. Oh, <laughs> is anyone else in the band bonkers? I think we're all a little bit. We're all, we're all got our own little um, things. Uh, we're all slightly weird and have our own little things that make us strange. No, we're not. Not we're intentional. Not, not intentional, just, it's just. We're just we some, some weird individuals. We're just weird individuals <laughs> and have weird little things. But we're not. We don't go around bragging that we're, you know, we're not like a Big Brother contestant. I'm, I'm crazy, me. I'm crazy. <laughs> why do you want to be on Big Brother? I'm absolutely mental. <laughs> wait till you see me in the house. Wait till you see me in the house. I will random. blow your mind. Yeah. We're, you know, it's just, I don't know. I yeah. suppose it kind of reflects more on our music than anything else, yeah. I guess. We all know what makes each other. Well, Paul's That's a very... Bonkers though, isn't he? No, he's just a crazy organised and just, you know, like, we need to get to this place, can you sort it out and, yeah. But I like to be on time and that makes me tick in a bad way. Well, we got it 10 minutes before the show. Been on time. God, how stressed you must have been then when the diesel ran out. Well... Yeah, yeah, we were just. Oh, yeah, yeah, got yeah. <laughs> we could, we had we had the sat nav on the right with like the time, how many miles we had left to get here, and then we had the dial on our van yeah. saying how much fuel we had left, and it was like this. It was, on not, zero. it was on zero for about two miles, and, and then like, the engine was like cutting. Yeah, out. you could hear the engine sort of <laughs> last little drips of fuel, or just gas, like. And we kind of rolled it into the petrol station, then we went too far past the petrol, and we had to push it back. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a carry on. Yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty ridiculous. And then, but that's just that's sometimes just how it works for us. Yeah. We're just we're just we just played with stuff like that happening to us, but we uh, always seem to cope quite well with it. You're very clean. Washing your hands. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have to think about. You your last band. I haven't got my last no. band. No. I watched the. Let's see yours. Where else have you got tattoos? You've got a lot of tattoos. Well, that's just a little thing. Jess got a lot of tattoos. I've got a lot of tattoos. Where else have you got them then? I'm trying to work out how this plays into this OCD thing. Oh no. oh, no, it comes into play when once I've got tattoos and I'm looking at it thinking that's not how it should be. Things like that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I've just got a bit of an OCD thing and, uh, yeah. But it's, it's got better recently. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Loads of musicians have OCD. Yeah. It's no, it's, it doesn't. It doesn't like. Isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't affect anyone else. No. It's, no. Yeah, it's more sort of me and what. Do you don't, mind? No, I don't mind. No. It's, it's like it's played for my family. Like my my dad and his brother, they're super crazy OCD. Like my dad's brother, he like he'll. Before he goes to bed, he'll go around and check that all the lights are off, even if they are off. He'll yeah. like he'll stand by the front door 
and he'll shake the door to make sure that it's locked and he'll stand there for five minutes doing it just to make sure yeah. and things like that. So, yeah, I think I've, it's been passed down to me, which is uh, quite frustrating. But there's, well, maybe there's a flip side to it. Yeah, well, it makes me, when it comes to music, I'm always sort of, I suppose, like when I'm trying to write vocals or lyrics yeah. or something, I'm always trying to make it as best as I can, yeah. like in an OCD sort of way, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, it has got its flip side. It's not it? only that. <coughs> what we know quite a few really talented musicians with OCD. Yeah. You know, not just averagely talented, super talented. Yeah, yeah. And their talent is, well, the OCD is just a byproduct of their talent. And I yeah, think, yeah. I think, fair deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a good deal. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think most musicians as well, in that way, of like a great obsession, usually have like a limit of like Asperger's or kind of that kind of thing to do with their personality, which makes them. Obsessed. The thing is, we don't actually see each other that much outside from being in the band. We all live in different parts of like the south coast. Like me and Paul are from Ashford, uh, Martin's from Hastings, the other two are from Eastport. And they see each other more than what we see yeah. them. So I think it's good in a sense because obviously we have these different backgrounds and we have different. But like we didn't grow up together. We didn't all grow up listening to the same kind of music yeah. or didn't influence each other in that sense. We still don't really influence each other because we don't, we're not together all the time. So we're all listening to different bands at the same time, we've all got different influences yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think, I think that brings a lot to yeah. the sound. Um, the so it's a good combination, that's definitely what, what we're hearing then. Yeah. And it's what we're seeing when you're on, on stage as well. Yeah, definitely. Because that, that tolerance, and that's got to be a good thing because if you've got all these individualities coming in, and you've also got you've obviously got the talent, mm. then you'll just continue to do that. Yeah, well, yeah, we have so, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. And also, it's really interesting for us to know where the sound comes from because it is so unusual. Cause yeah. it's so it's so diverse. Yeah, even well, yeah, that's what that's what we that's what we're trying to achieve. That's yeah. one of our goals. We don't want to write music that is for one certain crowd or yeah. we, we mainly write music for ourselves, stuff that we enjoy that you know mm. um, it's, yeah and then yeah and then <laughs> and if you know if people latch onto it and they enjoy it then that's yeah. a good thing right it's, yeah yeah because quite free flair quite frequently on sh in shows and stuff like you'll see people just looking really confused like as to what what they're listening and seeing and I mean that that's more of like you know, it's not a loss to us, it's more like, oh, that person, you know, it's kind of like, you know, we showed that person. Even if they don't like us, they're going to be yeah. going away thinking that band would fucking be weird. Um, yeah. Get that. Yeah, um, yeah, so if people don't get it, it's fair enough, but like, you know, at least they've seen something a bit different, you know. Yeah. Mm, that's all, really, that's what we'd be happy with. But also, it's like early days for you guys as well, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. We've, been, we've been a band for a long time, yeah. I've been. But it's only started to sort of take shape in the last sort of two years. Um, we just got back from sort of events in Chicago and Europe, and uh, that was big for us, like playing on bigger stages than what we used to, playing, you know, going out and playing to a thousand kids and getting used to having four monitors in front of you <laughs> and a massive barrier and stuff like that. So it's going in the direction we wanted to, yeah. like our hard work is starting to pay off. I really wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Yeah. And can you keep us informed with gigs and stuff because sure. we definitely want to keep yeah. watching you. Yeah, definitely. Go play some stuff. Yeah, we are. We go. We do a lot. We go all over. We really do. We spend a lot of time in London, especially at the moment. And basically, you're a listed artist. You're on our site. This is going to get you on our site. Okay, and that cool. That means you've got something to do.